Hello, I'm Robin Wally, welcome to Lenscraft. Just before Christmas, I was contacted by a company who produced something called 3D LUT Creator. At the time, I took a look at it, but I didn't have the time to really investigate it further. Now I do, and now I'm seeing more and more LUTs come onto the marketplace. Previous videos I've shown how to add a LUT to Photoshop and how you can apply this colour lookup to give special effects to an image and it's really drawn out of the cinematic industry and they use it for applying colour effects to films so you know when you see things like a film that looks like it's shot at night when it's shot in the daytime that typically is a LUT being applied to the image. What 3D LUT Creator does is it gives us the ability to create our own LUTs and we can then apply them in Photoshop. What I'm going to do in this video is show you how you can use 3D look creator to actually change some of the images colors and actually use that to generate a look that you can then apply to other images to create a look. There are lots of things you can do with this software and it's actually got a lot of potential which I'm going to be exploring in future videos as well but for the moment I'm going to keep this one quite simple. So the image I've got open at the moment is one that I shot quite a number of years back with my Olympus EM5 and I'm going to use this as the basis to create another LUT that I can actually then use to apply to other images. I'm going to start off, there's no adjustments on this at the moment and the first thing I'm going to do is just increase the colour temperature to really warm the image and you can see that coming through. And I'm also going to use it to, uh, to adjust the contrast and I'm going to use it to, in this case, reduce the contrast. And I'm just going to up the saturation as well in the areas here. And you can see already that's had a remarkable effect on the look of the image. And if you compare it to the starting image, you can see that's made quite a dramatic change. Now, the thing I don't really like about the change I've made is that it's turning this blue here a little bit too purple. So I can actually reduce my tint down again if I want to, or I can push it up. Looking at it, I quite like it being pushed up. So what can I do around this blue? Well, one of the things I can do is I can actually click on it and change the direction of the grid here and what that's doing is it's just creating a change where I can actually rotate the um, color wheel here until I get to a blue I really like and in this case I'm going to create a blue like that so overall that's now looking quite a, quite a dramatic change but one that I'm going to create into a LUT when I do this I'm actually going for a stronger effect than you might otherwise have simply because I can then adjust that later when we apply it in Photoshop. So now let's just try to change the yellow as well. I've pushed that here over to the to the right towards more of an orangey colour and that's created quite a nice ethereal effect. Now the colours are very strong at the moment, I may actually just reduce the saturation just slightly. They're very strong at the moment, but when we take them into Photoshop that's going to be quite useful for us. Now kindly, the uh, 3D look creators have provided me with a key to use in the software so that I can actually export the adjustments I've made as a 3D look file. And I'm going to call this misty warm and you can see here the extension is a cube now cube is one of the file formats and it's one that photoshop can use as well so i'm just going to save that and that's now created my 3d look file if you wanted to try this software out there is actually a demo version that you can do quite a lot with you've certainly got the capabilities of this spider's web grid here and you can use that to adjust your colors and you can create some remarkably good effects using this so if you want to give the software a try i'll include the link actually in the information below the video and I'm going to be using this more in the future as well because some of the things you can do and create with it are quite impressive so let's take the image now, or we'll take a new image that I've got open in Photoshop. And this is one that I've already adjusted in Lightroom. 
At the moment it's quite a soft coloured natural effect and let's now start to apply the look file to it. So we can create a new adjustment layer here of the type LUT and we can now load in our misty warm cube file and that immediately creates a very strong look on the file possibly even a little bit too strong. The first one that I'm going to do, I'm going to use it to actually just change the blending mode to soft light and that puts in a bit more contrast into that image. But again, it's too strong at the moment, so I'm going to just reduce that down something around 40%. And now I'm going to add another layer. Again, I'll load in the same file and that's applied the adjustment. And I'm now going to actually tone that down very slightly take it down to about 70% and that looks good. Now I'm going to put both of those into a folder so that I can turn the whole group on and off to see the difference. And now I'm just going to attach myself a mask to that and now I'm going to invert that mask and that hides the effect. And now, using a white paintbrush, I can actually paint in the areas where I want the effect. So I definitely like the colour in this area here. And again, on the, on the grasses in the distance, it's giving a nice warming effect. I'm going to add a little bit of warmth onto the rocks with this here. And... I'm now going to add in the warmth into the sky and a little bit up here as well and over here. So that's now helping blend the LUT adjustment in with the areas of the image. So you can now see the adjustment quite easily. And there's a little bit here that I don't like, it's turned the rock purple, so I'll just take that out very easily there. I think I might just try to add in a bit of colour onto that wet part of the rock as well. And again, because these are just adjustments, I can change the opacity of them. And I can also add in some other LUT files that came with Photoshop, for example. So if I go to Device Link, I can actually pull in the teal magenta and use that to blend in as well and adjust the image colours. All that's happening here is that I'm applying these LUTs to the image. I'm doing it selectively and I was able to create my own LUT from the 3D LUT creator. So overall, this gives me end-to-end -end control over a look that I can now apply to any of my landscape images using the adjustment layers. I hope you found that useful. I'm Robin Worley. You've been watching Lenscraft. I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.